Hey there YouTube, this is just a quick video tutorial on how to make a half decent looking forum signature. I thought that you'd seen a forum because it's a forum signature, but I mean you could just use this anything really. Um use this uh, MSN avatar or something. <clears throat> well, these are two examples I've got. You might not it's sort of three D and it looks like the character sticking at a picture. In this case it's Altair from Assassin's Creed One. You might not be able to see but there's like some extra like vector lines sticking out, it's just like quite nice detail. It's got name on it. Now, this one's the similar sort of thing, just different character really. Okay, so first let's get into the tutorial. So first you want to go into file new. Or actually open up Photoshop first, I mean that that might help. But so you want to go file new, then just make a new Canvas. I'll choose background transparent, 420 by 300. That's sort of the default that most forms like to use, 420 by 300 pixels. So I'll use that and just press OK. Let's minimize that. Okay, so you got this blank canvas. To do this, you're gonna need two images, as we saw. You need your foreground image, which would be the character, and the background image, which will be the background behind the character, which goes about halfway up the canvas. To so find images, you just go on uh, the internet. For a foreground image, I recommend planetrenders.net. It has a lot of um, like game cutouts. It's this mushroom guy from Mario. But I see example, you can use that if you wanted to. Which I doubt you would, but if you wanted to, just use that. And for a background image, you want something like similar genre. So, like type of image. Um, like play sort of. So if you did use ma <coughs> Mario, you'll want a Mario background or like some sort of cartoon background. In this case I'm going to make a borderland signature. And I've got some images here. Character. It's my character image. It's, um, midget shotgunner from Borderlands. If you play that you might know that. My background I'm going to use this one. <coughs> which is a um, piece of concept art which as Borderlands in the original art style that they're going to use, it's sort of more realistic than the cell shaded cartoon style that they used in the final game, which you can see this guy. <laughs> so first, you're going to want to import your background into your main image, you just drag the layer across. Then, obviously, it's too big at the moment, so you're going to want to resize. So, Control T, open transform. If you hold Shift while dragging the corner, I'll keep the um, ratio for the picture. So you don't like stretch or weird like that. <coughs> then I think it's actually a bit too much sky on it, so I'm gonna go back and crop it in the original image or crop my new canvas, which I don't want. Just crop back that. A bit more. It's now now I delete that layer. Drag out the bin. Copy this from here into my canvas. So just resize it, control T, opens transform, hold down shift while resizing to keep the aspect on the picture is to not stretch it. Now you, you want to put your background image about halfway so you can have the, the top of your character sticking out and make it look a bit 3D. Apply. Okay, so this is my background, maybe just put up a tiny bit. Okay. Next you're gonna to wanna to make a um border, which is this uh white line going around the edge. That That's another thing to make it look a bit more 3D and it also just makes it look a bit more professional because it makes it neater. So to do so, you want to make a new layer. Choose the line tool or the freeform pen tool. Which I'm gonna use. It's, it makes the same sort of line. It's just a line drawn. You want to zoom in. <coughs> you just click and then you want to draw your line. I recommend having it two pixels and choose a colour that's going to match with the style of thing you can do. So I might go a bit darker blue grey than that, that colour. Now just draw a line on. If you hold shift while doing this you can get it at a straight line so you don't need to worry about it going all weird like that. That's my first line. Let's zoom in. It's, it's a bit dodgy actually but I might do that again. Let's draw it again. This isn't working. <laughs> okay, so draw that line on. Okay, that, that, that'll do for now. 
I mean, on yours, you obviously have much more time. I can make this into a tutorial. So, um, yeah, just draw your line on. Okay, that's what I want. Zoom and just position it up at the top. Okay, and now for the side lines, I'm going to add a new layer. You can merge all these layers later, so don't worry about having like more complicated layers than that. So draw, just draw a line on. You don't need to make it the right size because you won't be seeing it because you're going to line it up on the edge. So again, just zoom and position it up exactly right. Down, okay. For the next two side lines, just you can just copy these, t just copy the layers, so duplicate them. Control D or just drag it onto the little. Um, you you click on layer, just drag it onto the new layer button. Right, and then this one do the same thing. Just drag it down. Zoom in to line it up. Check it along there. Yeah, okay, so that's all lined up now. I just highlight those four layers having the lines on, merge them, right click, merge visible. Oops, no. Right click, merge layers. Okay, so now you wanna now you've got like the main background, you can add in your character. So I'm gonna open my character which is this guy here. You can see because I got from Planet Renders, thanks to Tortu from Planet Renders who supplied this image. It's gonna erase his watermark because we don't really want that on there. Just use your lasso and highlight and press delete. 